Hi! Welcome to Bernadette Yoga and Wellness. And for today's class, we'll be working on Sun Salutation B or Surya Namaskar B. If you haven't watched the Surya Namaskar A or Sun Salutation A video, I would like for you to go watch it or check it out because in that video, we broke down the different poses in the sun salutations and that is actually needed for Surya Namaskar or Sun Salutation B. And we'll just have a few poses to add on for the B. So go check it out before you proceed with Sun Salutation B. So starting off with the first pose, which is chair pose or Utkatasana. So from Tadasana, either your feet together or legs apart, you bend your knees and bring your arms up over your head. So here, the weight is on the heels of your feet. If in Tadasana, your feet are not together, then in chair, your feet will not be together and your knees will not be together, most likely. So you bring your weight back to your heels or your toes are a little bit lighter here. And then the tendency in this pose is that when you're, you feel that your hips are heavy, your thighs get heavy, that you overarch your back to compensate, we don't want to do that. So you lengthen your tailbone down towards the floor and then bring the ribs in and the spine stays nice and long with your arms over your head. So the same with your Tadasana Mountain Pose, you can widen your arms, accommodate your shoulders, or you can bring them further forward so that you can straighten your arms. So in Utkatasana Chair Pose, we still want our arms straight, reaching up, I, and the knees are bent, weight is on the heels. So it's from the hips, you deepen your hip crease, moving your hips back. So Utkatasana, chair pose. So on the inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana, just like in uh, Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, halfway. Ardha Uttanasana, half forward fold. Keep the inhale as you step both feet back to plank. Exhale to your Chaturanga. Hug the elbows in, bend halfway. Inhale to your back bend. Upward facing dog, shoulders back, thighs up, lengthen towards the crown. On the exhale, flip the toes, downward facing dog. So this is the difference. Warrior one comes in after down dog on the same breath. So you step your right foot forward, still on the exhale. You turn your back heel down at an angle. Okay, so turning towards the left corner of your mat. Hug the right hip in. You can be on your fingertips here. If you have your blocks, you can grab your blocks. Hug the right hip, lengthen the heart forward. So if you think about it, this is like your lunge but this time with your back heel down at an angle. Lengthen forward, and this is where you go inhale to your warrior one. So in warrior one, you're aiming to square your hips, but it won't square fully because your back heel is down. So the key action is moving your right hip back and left hip forward. So you're scissoring your thighs so that your hip bones face forward, okay? Any amount. And then keep pressing your left thigh back, grounding the back heel, okay, and then bending the front knee. The tendency in this pose is that you were over arch her back. So you will try to lengthen the tailbone down. Same. Keep the belly in, lifting the frontal hip bones, and then keeping the ribs in as you bring your arms up over your head. So you're in still in a tadasana torso. So your chest is squared towards the front of the room. Warrior one. So from warrior one, you exhale all the way to chaturanga. So arms down to the floor and move the blocks out of the way. Exhale chaturanga, either full on or knees down. Inhale to your up dog. Shoulders back, lengthen to the crown, thighs up. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
High-fiving the mat, spread your fingers, lifting the hips up and back, thighs back. And on the same exhale, you step your left foot forward for warrior one on the other side. Heel down at an angle, square your chest towards the front of the room. As you inhale, rise up, warrior one. So same action, grounding your back foot, rolling your right hip forward, pressing your thigh back, hug that left hip in towards the midline. If this is a lot for you, you can actually widen your stance. Your legs are hip width apart. This will accommodate your hips. So scissoring the thighs, right hip forward, left hip back. And again, keeping the torso long, tailbone down, lifting your frontal hip bones, reaching your arms up towards the ceiling, arms straight, ribs in. This is an inhale, warrior one. And then the same, when you exhale, take your exhale all the way to your chaturanga. Back heel up, left leg back, Hinging forward, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to your back bend. Upward facing dog. Exhale, flip the toes. Downward facing dog. Your teacher may tell you to stay here for several breaths. You stay, deepen your breath here. And then on the e at the end of the exhale, same with sun salutation, and you look forward. Step both feet forward in between your hands. Inhale halfway. Ardha Uttanasana, half forward fold. Exhale, forward fold. And then chair pose. So we end in chair and lift up. Exhale, hands to the sides. Mm -hmm.